Today we are going to be helping Bethany find out if her girlfriend Michelle is a gold digger. In order to do this, we are going to build online decoy profiles of regular people and make them look rich. Our decoy will be asking Michelle on a date and if she accepts, he's going to ask her to meet him in his party bus to see if she's really serious about it. In reality though, this is the confrontation bus and if Michelle does walk in here, then it truly does mean that Bethany is dating a gold digger. All right, guys, here we go. So our first message is from Bethany, who wrote to us via Facebook. And she writes, hey, Sergio, good job on your videos. I really enjoy them, and they have actually made me realize that I might be dating a gold digger. I feel as if my girlfriend, Michelle, is too focused on status. I am currently a waitress, and she's getting on me about moving up or finding a job that pays more. I don't see the need for this because I enjoy my job, and it does pay well, and it's also very convenient. So for a while, I thought she was doing this because she wanted to push me more, but I'm realizing now that she might be doing it for her own personal gain. Honestly, it'd be cool if you replied and we tested her. I also noticed you film a lot around Fullerton. I actually live in Anaheim, so we're pretty much neighbors. We're doing it, right? We should, it's around the corner. True. Okay, Bethany, we're coming to you. Give us like about a week to plan everything and you, you. I should probably write that in, huh? Instead of just saying it. <laughs> I'm like just saying it. Okay, so what are your thoughts? So Michelle keeps on telling Bethany, hey, you should move up in your job or you should find one that pays more. Now, do you think Michelle is really telling her this because she wants to push her and see her make more money? Or do you think that Michelle is telling her this because she wants to gain from it? I don't know. There's people that do push others because they genuinely want to see them better themselves. Right. I mean, wouldn't you want to surround yourself with people that push you to be better? That's true, actually, when you put it that way. I mean, I guess we will um, we'll find out soon enough, right? at the curb <laughs> that's what i get for <laughs> let's get the cameras from the trunk um set up the ronin and then i'm gonna go knock and i should probably take off my hat right because i don't want to be like all creepy and mysterious <laughs> let's go this is a really nice neighborhood huh can't even tell it's anaheim that's a really nice car too <sighs> you nervous leslie Bethany, hey. <laughs> what's you up? Came. Yeah, I hey. did. How are you? How's good. Everything? How are you? I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Um, do you want to? want to do this inside? Uh, Out here? Wherever you want to do it, we'll do it. Cool, 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 cool. So, I mean, first off, I just want to say thank you so much for watching our videos. It's like, it yeah. means it means a lot that you actually watch. And thank you for reaching out and telling us your story, which is why we're here. So, we want to do whatever we can do to find out if she is or isn't a gold digger. So, first, give us more information. Now, give, give us, like, details. Like, we want to know everything. Like, yeah, like I said, spill I've been, it all. Uh, dating Michelle for a few months now. Mm -hmm. Recently, especially the last couple of months, like, things are starting to change. Like, now that we're kind of getting relaxed and everything, she's starting to make me feel like I'm not actually good enough anymore now i'm a full-time waitress and everything okay uh, which brings in you know enough money for us to be fine but that's not really it doesn't seem to be good enough for her like she's been now that i'm kind of relaxed mm. with this job she's kind of like you know why aren't you trying to better yourself why aren't you trying to move up why aren't you trying to find a more successful job a higher paying job you know get out of this line of work type of stuff one of our friends brought up that like i was just waitressing like that's not a career that's just like a that's kind of a low job or whatever mm -hmm. and now she's kind of got in her head that like i'm not really good enough for her she's okay we feel bad about it and so where do the feelings of her possibly being a gold digger come in like definitely the fact that she seems to be really focused on status and money like to the point that like we've actually had a few arguments about possibly breaking up because she seems like not satisfied but i actually found out that like her previous relationship like her last girlfriend they ended because of like really similar circumstances like i heard their story and it sounds like that girl was also kind of like complacent in her life and that wasn't good enough mm -hmm. for michelle mm -hmm. and, and so and so from her ex she went to you yeah Okay. So I'm thinking, you know, that I'm going to be the next one and she's going to kind of move on if okay. she realizes that I can't be that her. That's what I'm feeling like. At least. Okay. So that's what I want to know. Like, cool. am I going to be dropped because I'm just a waitress and I'm not? So you want to stop living in fear pretty much. Yeah. I gotcha. just want to know, like, is, are, is that what this is? Are we not really in love? Is, is it just about money gotcha. or, you know, 
Gotcha. Hopefully I'm wrong, and I'm doing what I can, and I'm, I'm working hard, so right. I would hope that would be good enough. Right, okay. But. We'll definitely do what we can, so just send us everything you can that you have about her, especially her, like, social medias. Yeah. Um, that way we can start getting a work and, you know, finding out if she is or if she isn't a gold digger. Cool. Cool. <laughs> what do you think with Michelle and Bethany, then? It's confusing. Like, I don't know what to believe anymore. What do you mean? Like, I just don't know if she should still trust her. But why? just seems like she might not be pushing her to get a better job for the right reasons. Mm, true. Yeah. Just the simple fact that Michelle did it to her ex-girlfriends. Yeah. I think that's like a red flag to me, you know? But, um, still, I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt, and hopefully she, she passes the test, and yeah, time to get to work. I want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, EDU Birdie, for sponsoring this video. If you guys are struggling with writing a paper, just jump onto their website and have a professional write it for you. It's completely confidential and plagiarism free. Best part of all, you guys only pay when you are 100% satisfied with your paper. So as I stated since the beginning, I'm no longer going to be pulling these gold digger tests. Instead, we're going to be working with decoys who are going to be ordinary people. And we're going to be building their social media pages to make them look rich. So today, we're meeting up with Michael. I'm just going to take some photos. You just work that thing. Guys, this is looking so good. I guess I'll just enhance it. Let's see what it looks like after I enhance it. Okay, that looks okay. Cool. That looks pretty good, right? Yeah. That looks decent. Okay, out of these three. One, hmm. two, or three. Which one's better? I really like the third one, but that freaking bird. <laughs> yeah, freaking I can get rid of the bird. You can? Yes, I can. Watch. Let me see. I think I can, actually. I think I can. Yes, I can get rid of the bird. Yeah. Can I get rid oh, of your face? Hey. Oh, I can get rid of your face. <laughs> Goodbye, Michael! Oh my God. Let's get rid of everything. I feel like Back to the Future here. Let's see what happens. Ah! Michael's not even there! <laughs> Can we just have Did your I legs jump there? on the pier? <laughs> so, let's start off with the Facebook. Yes? Cool. So, Michael and K. Perfect. Kobe? You have to go potty? Dude, you only got 10 followers. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I can always buy them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and follow her. Hey, Bethany, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Okay, so um, Michael and Michelle have been talking for the past couple of days, and I wanted to know that if you had time tomorrow to meet up so that I can show you the conversation that they've been having. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Um, it's gonna, I'll text you tomorrow for sure exactly what time, but most likely it's gonna be like in the afternoon time. Okay. Okay. Right, cool. cool. Awesome then. I'll see you then. All right. See ya. So Michael followed her a couple days ago and it took her about five, six hours to follow back. So he initiates a conversation by saying, hey there, thank you for following back. It's a pleasure. To which she responds, hey, no problem. Your page looks cool. To where he responds, thanks. I'm glad you think so. I love what I do. Now she stops responding here. So about like 20 minutes later, he writes to her. Anyways, how's your day been going? She says, it's actually been pretty good actually. Nice, he says, any plans for the day? Just working a day, cool. Where do you work? She says, well, I'm a temp for a job. Then he goes, nice, there's nothing wrong with that though. It's, it's a good job. Then he goes, well, I have a meeting to get to, so I'll let you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good day at work. So that's where we ended the conversation for this day, just because, you know, we wanted to make Michael look busy and look professional and stuff like that. So then he responds to her two days later and he says, hey, how are you? To which she responds, hi, I'm good, and you? And he goes, I'm great, thanks for asking. How was work the other day? She says, it was whatever's. To which Michael responds, sounds like you don't care much for your job. She says, I really don't, to be honest. I only work it because I have bills to pay. And then he sends her sort of this big message in order to like make himself look good. And then she stopped replying. But um, after a couple of hours later, she ended up replying again. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, we decided that at this point, um, we're just gonna go for it. We didn't want her overthinking things or like going in and doing like further research on this guy. So we just decided to pop a question. He says, hey, so I don't know if this is too much to ask, but I'm actually off work at about 3 p.m. Tuesday. And I was thinking of grabbing a nice dinner after. I was curious if you would maybe want to come with me. We could maybe watch a movie after. I completely understand if you don't or if you're busy. And she responds, I'd be down for that. Where at? So what do you want, what do you want us to do? Um, you want us to... You want us to keep going and find out if she's really serious about this? Yeah, because, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know what to say. I mean, I guess, I mean, if it's gone this far, like, I need to know how far it's going to go. Like, I need to know if she's actually going to cheat on me, you know? Okay, like, cool. So you're okay then with us continuing this and... Yeah. Um, seeing if she's really serious about this, essentially. Yeah. Okay. We'll set up the date, and we'll ask her to come. And if she shows up, I'm pretty sure you want to be there to confront her. Yeah. Okay. We fell apart. You love somebody new. Lost in your heart. Okay. Talk to me. Talk to me. What's on your heart? What's on your... What's on your head? What's on your mind? What's on your soul? I'm here for you. Disbelief. Okay. Honestly. Do you feel like she let you down or you let her yeah. down? No, I feel like she let me down. Okay. I've I've been working. I just... I've right. been loving her. Like, I... Right. And here she is. On her way to cheat on me. Right. So. Right. So, what I'm going to have Michael do as soon as he gets here is I'm going to have him give her a call telling her that he's a little caught up in the office and that he doesn't want to go inside waiting for him. Instead, he's going to leave his party bus open and she should wait for him there. And, um, yeah, and that he'll just come outside once he's ready to go on the date. In reality, though, I'm going to be there with the cameras and I'm going to ask her, you know, why are you doing this, blah, blah, blah this and that. And then uh, you'll just be in the car with the headphones just listening to everything that I'm saying. I'll give you a call once I'm inside. And um, just watch out for your name. Once I mention you, once I bring you into the conversation, that's when you can feel free to come outside and just go inside and just pour your heart out. Okay. Cool? Easy. Okay. Let me get this for you. I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. As you can see, our videos take a lot of time and funding, and with the recent YouTube ad revenue cut, we are now only making 10% of what we used to. If you would like to support us, consider pledging to us on Patreon. We have awesome rewards each month, such as t-shirts and Skype calls. I love you guys, and thank you. Hey, Michelle, what's up? It's Mike. Okay. Hey, um, you see that big black bus there? Uh, yeah, here Cool. That's actually my party bus. You don't mind waiting in there if you're really serious about this date? I'm in the office here. Got caught up on something, but I'll finish real quick. Okay. Yeah, if you're, if you're serious about this date, I'd really like you to wait there. Okay. Cool. Hi, Michelle. My name's Serge. I'm actually Michael's friend. So oh. nice to meet you. Here, let me help you up. <laughs> do, do you want to... I apologize for the camera. We're actually just filming a reality show based on Michael's life. Do you want to just, like, take a seat for me right over here? And then I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. And you can choose to answer them if you want to, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's just it's just kind of like a reality show about Michael. No, yeah. If that's yeah, cool. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> okay, cool. So, you and Michael, huh? Do you guys have a very big date planned for today? Yeah. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Where are you guys going to go? If you, if you don't mind me asking. We talked about dinner, maybe a movie, but um, I don't know. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm, uh, you know he's balling though, right? <laughs> I do. Okay, so I'm, I'm a little surprised that he didn't offer to take you to like Vegas or Miami or New York or something like a little, something a little bit like more expensive, you know? Um, dinner and the movie seems very plain for you. <laughs> it's his first date. I don't know. Okay, okay, true, true. So do you plan on going on more dates with this guy then? Uh, if it goes good, yeah. <laughs> okay, so say tonight does go very good and say that he turns to you and he looks at you and he says michelle you are the most beautiful thing i have ever seen would you be my girlfriend <laughs> what would you say yeah. 
I would. You would say yes? Yeah, I, I would. Okay. <laughs> what would you say then is the one thing or the one trait that attracted you to Michael and that like, you know, like separates him from like everyone else? What would you say it is? That he's ambitious. Okay. Ambitious. That he's ambitious? Yeah. Okay. Explain, like, what do you mean? Um, he's very motivated. Mm -hmm. Like, he, um, he's simply the go-getter. I, I like that. He doesn't settle for less. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And so correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're attracted to Michael because of his ambition. Yeah. So then explain to me, explain to me, Bethany, then. Isn't she ambitious? Isn't she like a go-getter? Does it don't? Wouldn't you say that she works hard? She's trying to move up in her job. You know, she's trying to be a go-getter. You know, what is the difference between Michael's ambition and Bethany's ambition? Like, why be here? Why do this to Bethany? I thought this was about Michael. No, it is. It is. It is. Michael is actually not my only friend. Bethany's also my friend, and I know you're in a relationship with Bethany. And I know that the reason you're here is because you expected to go on a date with. Michael and she on the one girl who loves you the most. What the fuck are we doing here? Like, I treat you right. I spoil you. I give you everything you want. And here you are just ready to throw it away. Are you going to say something? Because it's not like you can exactly deny it. You're dressed up sitting in a fucking party bus ready to go on a date with another guy. So, Michelle, I'm sure you probably have already figured this is completely orchestrated um michael is a real person but michael's not rich and michael isn't coming because there is no date between you two but on the other hand the reason you are here is because you did want to go on a date with michael meaning that you did want to cheat on bethany again who like i said is the girl who loves you so i mean i hope you can see that she at least deserves an explanation why or i hope you can also see that this is your opportunity or your chance to like to like explain yourself pretty much you know what am I supposed to why, maybe? Why? Because <laughs> of you? What? You changed? How did I change? You know, you never pay attention to me anymore. You're always working. Because you want me to. I work because that's what you want. If I take any time off, you ask me why I'm not there. If my ship gets cut, you ask me to go pick up another one. Yeah, I'm working all the time because you want me to. I'm trying to make you happy. I don't ask you to work to make me happy, you know? I ask you because you don't do shit at home anyway, so I try to make you productive. Okay, so you just, you just proved my fucking point. You're complaining that I work too much and then complain when I'm at home not at work. Like, I treat you like a queen and here you are ready to fucking cheat on me. What did I do? Are you here because of Michael's money, Michelle? Nothing. Just be honest. Yeah, fucking just... money, no. Well, then why the fuck are we here? Why are you, are you not into me anymore? You're not into girls? You want to date guys? Why are you even doing this? You know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. That's that's what we're doing. It's my fault. Yeah. You I can't mean. take any ownership. You are literally in the midst of cheating on me right now, and you're blaming me. You had a random guy hit me up and it ask me matter. out. It shouldn't matter because you should have never said yes. So, okay, how would you feel if I did this to you? Are, you're mi are you fucking kidding me? You're missing the entire point. No, I'm not. I wouldn't be in this situation. I would never cheat on you. I would never be sitting on a bus. I would never said yes. It wouldn't have mattered. You say that now? Yeah. You because say that I know now. I'd never cheat on yeah, you. Okay. Are okay. you kidding? Yeah, roll yeah. your eyes. Awesome. That's fucking fantastic. I'm um, fuck you. Un fucking believable. I can't. You, you can feel free to walk out if you want to, or you can, you know, like sit there and just think about what happens. But, um, do, do you mind just like telling me why? You know, just like why you did this, why you would do this, why you, why you would essentially like use her, you know? Like, you, you don't think that you don't think that you're using her, or you don't think that you were about to use Michael? You don't think it's wrong what you did? I'm just not into her anymore, and it's really hard to tell you that. I'm not a fucking user. This is well, why, why, why try to play her? Or why try to play Michael then? Or why try to keep this behind their bags, you know? Like, would you have told Michael, like, about her? That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's what you do for fun. <laughs> She's inside. She's in the corner.
How are you doing? How are you holding I'm up? I'm great. I'm great. I'm fucking fantastic. Mm. Yeah. She's still in there, still rolling no, her eyes No, no. She, she walked over to her car. I think oh, she's about okay. to move right now. Okay, well, good. She can go catch up with her imaginary men on her imaginary dates. The imaginary money. You don't want to try to go talk to her no. anymore? No. Screw her. She's just going to laugh and roll her eyes. I'm done. That ticks you off, huh? Yep. I'm done. It's so... I guess it meant nothing, so... Whatever they call us, whatever they'll 